Coming to you live from the studios of 100.9 FM, WCHQ, and WCHQFM.com, this is In the Studio with your host, Gavin Castor. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to In the Studio. We are in the first week of Derby Festival. Hope you guys have recovered nicely from thunder over louisville and a beautiful day we finally got some beautiful weather and we are thrilled to have live in the studio grackle welcome guys thank you it's it's a thrill to be here uh thrilled to have you here i should say it's a thrill to be here in your presence you know it's like ah, but, <laughs> but uh no seriously uh the sound check uh, went really well and um we have six pieces in here. We're really, uh, we're really thrilled to have to be able to fit everyone in, and uh, the sound check was incredible. And why don't we start with the song, so our listeners can get a taste of what you guys are about, and then we'll get into some interview. <laughs> Away within the time. 
Grackle live in the studio here at 100.9 FM LP WCHQ Louisville and on WCHQ.com. Wow. I'm fighting back the tears right now. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. And uh, I'm damn proud of our mix we got here, too. <laughs> I hope you guys like it, too. Um, so is that one off your new album? It is. It's called The Tide. and it's, The uh, Tide. It's, yeah, it's off our upcoming album. We are in the very, very final stages of uh, getting it tracked. Uh, in mm-hmm. fact, I think we have four... Four things to do left on, yeah. the, on the whole album, and then it's, it's off to mastering and replication and celebration, wow. and yeah, we, we will have given birth. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So is all the recording done? Are you in post, post-production right now? So we have a few more tracks to go. Who still has tracks to do? Just raise your hand if you still have tracks to Oh, there's there. <laughs> so we have about... Uh, that was a setup. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it right. Totally was. It was. <laughs> totally. It was. It's so, um, our fault, gal. Yeah. That's right. It, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we were. We've, everything else is tracked. It's. Uh, we're really happy with it. It's a. It's a very different sounding album than our first one, but it still yeah. has the grackle feel to it. Yeah. And um, it's filled with strings, which makes me ha- very, very happy. Oh our, yeah. Our wonderful string oh, section awesome. here. The string section. Yeah. You two are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's so much to it. Um. So uh, let's go into the history of grackle. First off, uh, who I'm speaking with is Mr. Steve Katsikas. Uh, if the name sounds familiar, then it means you're also a fan of uh, Dark Side of the Wall and a few other projects as well. So uh, give us a little history there, Steve. Well, the the history of the band starts with um, Jeff and I. Uh, Jeff's one of the very first people I met when I moved to Louisville a little over a decade ago. And uh, Jeff and I were in a, a band called French TV, which is kind of an avant jazz, uh, I don't know how to describe it, jazz rock. Yeah, you know, jazz Something. Just really, yeah, very, very real, really very challenging, interesting. Like it was fun music, and so yeah. uh, Jeff and I played uh, together on an album with uh, Mike Seri, uh, who's yeah. also from Louisville, a longtime Louisville uh, um, songwriter. And uh, really, I re- loved playing with Jeff. Uh, he's got such a great feel. And oh, I don't know, a, a number of years ago, I had a whole bunch of uh, songs I sort of wanted to record and didn't really have a band to record them with. Uh, so I said, hey, Jeff, can you help me record some songs? So the two of us kind of got together in the studio, yeah. started recording, and I just was like, man, we should play these out. And yeah. so we were like, we got to find a bass player. And we did. We found Steve Dietrich uh, yeah. through, through a classified thing. And, and it's, you know, I know a lot of people find bandmates through classified, so that doesn't sound like really remarkable. But right. Steve hadn't been looking for a band for a while, and mm-hmm. he just kind of got the inkling to, to look for a band and had posted and Sort of around the time that he was sort of looking, we were looking. It's just kind of meant to be. And so uh, Steve joined the band, and we were a trio. The three of us played around town a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then we added Joanna on backing vocals because yeah. it was just lonely having just me singing. And uh, she's got such a lovely backing vocal, and we blend together. Um, we're also married, so I think that, yeah. that speaks to some of that. I, I kind of only sing in the shower. <laughs> 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 we all know how that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds lovely. Yeah. I, Not we, that I've been I, in the I'm shower. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't think we do. <laughs> I'm just well, using my imagination. Yeah, yeah. This is what I sing in the shower. Yeah. That's so, like yeah. people who say, "Do you play anything?" Yeah, I play stereo. Yeah. You know, I, I play. Of course, in this age, I play Bluetooth now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Bluetooth. That is, it's a cool wow, instrument. That's a good skill. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the so the last few pieces fell in when um, I saw an ad that Myra Keen had had posted and mm. uh, violinist, uh, vi- not just violin, just. saxophone, oh, flute. That's right. Um, I don't know if you even listed some other instruments. She plays ukulele, guitar. Now, Myra, are you on uh, Winter Garden album as well? No. Okay. No. I'm just curious. She Sorry. should have been. Should have, we should, if we because t- there was sax. Was on, yeah, there was sax on Winter Garden. Yeah, yeah, I played sax, but Myra is a real deal saxophone player. And, yeah. Uh, and so we got Myra involved. And and when you have a violin player, it can be lonely. So she needed mm-hmm. some company. And yeah. Steve had known Kay from. Uh, a long time ago, they had tracked together and they had played together live yeah. in, in a band a while ago. And Steve's like, I know this woman who's incredible on the cello and she plays harp and she's delightful. And and so how got, wonderful so, is that? So we invited her over just to jam and it was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And that is the story of Grackle. Wow. Wow. And yeah. And it's a, it's a beautiful combination, too. I really, really love it. And. Yeah, Kay, you're in good company. A lot of great uh, bands and artists have had cellos, uh, most notably Harry Chapin, oh, yeah. who I got to see him um, at Macaulay Theater 
1975. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I am that old. Yeah, <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah, was... you had great taste when you were four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Thank you, Steve. Yeah, you're too generous. Well, and of course, more more recently, Brandy Carlisle and mm-hmm. and um, oh my goodness, so many so many others, so many other greats out there. So yeah, and you you too, Myra and Kay, really add to the mix, and um, it, it it was a great challenge to to get everything tweaked too, so we can hear all the separation. So <laughs> it's it's really great having you guys. In case you're just tuning in, you are listening to in the studio here on 100.9 FM LP WCHQ, and on WCHQ. FM.com. We are on Facebook Live, so go on WCHQ FM 100.9 Facebook page or the In the Studio Facebook page as well, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well. Uh, how about another song? Awesome. Um, so here's another one that's uh, off our new album, okay. uh, and this one is called My Civil War. My Civil War. This is Grackle in the studio here on 100.9.
100.9 WCHQ Louisville FMLP <laughs> live in the studio we are enjoying the tunes of Grackle and of course amazing again blown away beautiful stuff um, let's talk about your uh, creative process Steve and I'm I'm assuming you're the chief uh, bottle washer in the band right yeah I clean the toilets you yeah know. <laughs> So uh, when you when you start um, composing, of course, with a lot of people, they find a hook and then they they uh, w well, I hate to focus on me, but the way I approach a song is I'll find a hook, I'll write the chorus first, which establishes the subject, then I'll do the first and last verse, and then struggle with the second verse for a couple of years. But uh, <laughs> um, of course, you're being a keyboardist and so forth. Um, you're more of a composer than a songwriter. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. it, it's my process is uh, it's kind of varied. So yeah. it, it happens in different ways at different times. Sometimes it's uh, uh, I, I'll noodle with a comp with a uh, progression, yeah, and then I'll sort of find a melody hidden in the progression that sort of works for me, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes that reveals a lyric, and sometimes it doesn't. Right, um, and I'll just sit with it for a while, and usually the lyric that percolates up somewhere has to do with something I'm, I'm thinking about or seeing or, or experiencing. experience. Yeah, yeah. tending to. Right, right. Um, not always, but, but sometimes. And I'll kind of find that nugget, um, and then I'll write the song around that mm -hmm. particular, that particular uh, nugget. And occasionally it'll shift from there, so the song will sort of push, push it here and push it there. Right. Um, but that's usually a little bit about my process, and um, then I'll bring, a, I'll bring the song to, to the band, and mm -hmm. um, we move it around, polish it, move things here and there, um, and kind of just flesh it out, Yeah, give it life that way. And that way it becomes more of a grackle tune than a Steve Katsikas yes. tune. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that really, um, and you can hear it, you know, the fluidity of all the parts coming together and, and uh, yeah, the time changes and everything. It's pretty cool. And I needed to ask you that. Is there any 5-4 or 7-8? Seven, seven, uh, Time signatures in this. Uh, is there any odd meter in this album? Oh yeah, in this, this yeah, there's a uh, in the album. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm digressing. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Because I've been listening. Artists. I've been listening to Little Atlas, which is your other band. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Speaking the, of odd meters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And we will be featuring it on on uh, WCHQ. Oh, that's by the wonderful. way, that's yeah, great. we're going to upload it. Uh, but okay. yeah, uh, I sent uh, Steve a, a text when I, right after the first song. I said, "Wow, five four right out of the box." <laughs> <laughs> and there's a few seven eights, and that's great stuff. Yeah, it's, so. a, it's that's a different animal. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I I would imagine it's it's like writing on different instruments too. Uh, Brandy Carlisle once said that every guitar has has its own songs in it mm -hmm. and for little atlas you it's a it's just a different compartment than grackle mm -hmm. yep. yeah 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 so i was going to say how much do you share with uh joanna by the way in the songwriting i'm curious i i i will often hear when i'm supposed to sing mm -hmm. and sometimes that causes conflict because he hears something different sometimes but it's usually it's usually close to yeah. you know what the same thing is I, th I think it can get awkward for the other bandmates when, when we kind of <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm just just imagining <laughs> <laughs> those, so, those kind of conflicting moments yeah so yeah, when you're, you know yeah. so with, with the normal sort of conversations like you know have you thought of going to the f sharp instead of to the d on that part and I'm like that's not where it goes. Yeah, she, and I'm that's, like, that's yeah. not where it goes. And then pretty soon I'm on sleeping on the couch. And oh, <laughs> well, we, Steve and I have been playing together for twenty twenty years. years yeah. yeah. So yeah, people have accused us of being brother and sister. They're like, your voices blend really well. I'm like, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's too creepy. Yeah, <laughs> but they do. They, it sounds beautiful together. Thanks. Yeah. So um, uh, let's talk about your big gig coming up. Okay. Yeah, Oaks Day. That's a that's a kind of a big deal. I, I hear that's a, a a day here in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Yeah, sort of a day. Sort of a day. Um, 
Yeah, we're thrilled to be able to play at uh, Goodwood uh, Brewery. Yes, and, and one that of my is, favorite haunts. It is a it's a wonderful venue for music and yeah. for uh, it's you know Louisville based beverages. Yeah, and I mean, what says Louisville more than going to a Louisville brewery on right. Oaks Day for the Louisville the real Louisville part of the Derby? Yeah, yeah, Louisville's Derby. Yeah. So uh, I don't believe there's cover, and uh, folks should come out and stay a little bit and ha- and sample the. Tasty brews they have there, and uh, a little yeah. bit of grackle music, and um, I have a little bourbon barrel stout. You could, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the band won't have too much while we're playing. <laughs> that, that could be a little <laughs> interesting, but um, yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. That's Oaks Day. I think we play from um, uh, about eight to eleven. Eight to eleven. Mm-hmm. That is definitely one to go to. So that is Oaks Day. That is uh, a week from Friday. It is at Goodwood uh, Tap Room on uh, Main Street. On Main right? Street. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great place. Uh, I happen to be personal friends with the owner. Oh, fantastic. So. Do, you, and, do you get discounts? And the music uh, director. Well, I did go in there one time and I uh, said, hey, Ted, uh, do friends get uh, free bourbon barrel stout? He said, sure. And he, he hands me the largest goblet that they have. You know, usually it's like eight ounce, you know, because the higher alcohol content. And he gives me this. 20 ounce. I'm like, okay. Okay. And you woke up in Indiana. (laughs) I woke up in Indiana. Yeah. I was still clothed, though, thankfully. But yeah, I woke up in Indiana. But grace to. It's a long (laughs) walk across the river. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Utica, too. So that was a long walk to the walking bridge. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So Oaks Day, Goodwood Brewery, Grackle. Um, I hope you don't mind me talking about the Winter Garden album. I know you're you're wanting to progress forward. But, uh, yeah, that is a beautiful album, and it is available on all the music media outlets. Mm-hmm. I personally got it off Amazon. So, ah. um, Tell us about uh, the creative, uh, the recording and so forth on that one. Um, so, um, yeah, so Winter Garden was... Uh, it was, it was tracked uh, sort of piece piece at a time, mm-hmm. and uh, I think Jeff started, and we built the song around Jeff's drum tracks, and Steve added bass. Very and, nice. Um, and so once they were done with that, it was kind of up to me to um, t- to throw things at it. And they'd come over uh, a week, you know, for rehearsal, and I say, "Hey, here's what I did this week," and mm. some of it was good, and some of it was bad, and they didn't get to hear like the nine out of 10 ideas that were bad that I just took off the, but I kept throwing <laughs> things at it. And, um, yeah. I did, I played guitar and keyboards and saxophone. And we did find mm-hmm. a way to actually put a real live hurdy gurdy on that album. There's a, an actual hurdy gurdy. Yeah. Album. Yeah. I heard it. Yeah. Yes. I heard the hurdy gurdy. <laughs> heard, heard, Try to say that one fast. Heard the hurdy gurdy. Yeah. Heard the hurdy gurdy. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we finished that album, uh, sent mm-hmm. it off to, uh, Rick, the guy in big eye studios in Miami, Florida for mastering. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And, uh, he mastered it beautifully for us. And, he did. Um, yeah. And then it came back and it was real exciting. Right. Yeah. 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 So we, um, we sold out the first batch and we now have another batch and if folks want to check it out, they can actually check out the entire album, uh, on YouTube and mm-hmm. talk about a try before you buy. They can do yeah. that. And there you go. Yeah, so you have a YouTube channel and, of course, the website, grackleband.com. Yep. Beautiful website, too. Cool. Um, it works great on the cell phone as well as on, on the desktop. So that's good to hear. Yeah. Facebook page. And the Facebook page. Don't forget to give them a, a like. And it's spelled the way it sounds, grackle, like the bird. Like the bird. Some people don't know about that, but yeah, it was, we, we named it after the bird. Yeah. The noisy. The noisy. Bird bird yeah (laughs) speaking of which uh i had a request i don't know if this was your next song but it's off the winter garden album sure Uh, was that the next one on your list it is now (laughs) cool interstate of circumstance that's that's the one that really sticks out with me and you guys will understand why um you're listening to in the studio live performance grackle is my guest i'm gavin castor you're listening to 100.9 WCHQ FM LP and on WCHQ.com. Any day, an automatic. 
flapping of the wings, a distant butterfly in motion starts a chain of unrelated tides pulling on the earth. Trance I fall awake and see the rising smoke, the flames are dancing under me. live in the studio here on 100.9 FM LP, WCHQ, Louisville. Beautifully done, guys. Thank you. It's like you've done it more than once. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just did that for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah. You ever reach that point like, uh, you know, the, the Beatles did when they were touring? Like, do I have to play this song again? I'm, or or I, do you have no. a... Re- That's good. He's He's refreshed some old songs, like... There's been a couple of like old songs that he's brought back that these people, revisited. Yeah, beautiful people have given new life to. Which yeah. Is, yeah, which has been great. Yeah, they were like on a shelf, and I, I like them, but they didn't quite have the right. I don't know sound mm-hmm. yet. And then they were just they were just incubating. I think. Like, yeah, waiting for the right folks. So that's yeah. been fun too. Yeah, I bet that must be an incredible feeling too when you revisit something, and in your mind it just it, like you said, it was good but it was missing that element and then yeah 
Myron, and, Myron and Kay, and and they all just completed it. Yeah, I think I think all songwriters should sort of keep keep those you know songs on the shelf and mm -hmm. be willing to sort of revisit them at the right time. Yeah, you know, and sometimes there's bits and pieces of songs that get sort of, you know, carved away and chopped and reassembled and things like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That then it becomes a craft instead of a songwriting. Yeah, sometimes know. it becomes a crap. But <laughs> 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 yeah, boy, I've been there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but hopefully sometimes it's a craft. <laughs> well, they, yeah. The more you play songs, sometimes they evolve. Especially they when do. Added yes. Players. Yes. We yes. play some of the older stuff that they weren't on. And yeah. Goes, hey, and they hear it differently. Yeah, yeah. And, and so it, it evolves into something else. And so you, you, I, I don't ever get tired of playing any of them. No, yeah. I don't either. Yeah. Do y'all get tired of playing any it's of them? No. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. You're not just saying that for Facebook Live, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and the voice in the background is Jeff Card, the the drummer. And extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Yeah, you're making our little drum kit sound really great. Oh, good. So, awesome. uh, it's kind so. of a, a different feel, but. Yeah, yeah. It's good for the neighbors. <laughs> it's good for the neighbors, yeah. Well, you don't have to be behind that, you know, the... Oh, yeah, the shield. The, the shield, yeah, the plexiglass shield. We we thought about going that route, and then the silent symbols just came out. Oh, yeah. And so, and so... Uh, plexiglass serves for, you know, in case you have a bad audience that likes to throw things. Like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Can you tell your story about that song? Um, about interstate uh, yeah. of circumstance. Yeah. Oh. Um, so that that's one of the. Sometimes I, I lie in, in my songs. I just make stuff up. But that's a. <laughs> a lot of times fiction, I do actually yeah. fiction. You know. But that's a true story, and it's uh it t it takes place on I sixty four. Yeah. Um, I think folks know I sixty four who listen. Maybe not the folks in in Great Britain who are listening, but it's yeah. a local uh, interstate here that runs through Louisville, and mm -hmm. I'm heading home at the end of a long day. Um, and kind of on you know on autopilot at the end of the day you don't you, you make right. that that drive so many times you're not really thinking about it just you're mm -hmm. going through the motions and the car in front of me starts um, so I see smoke coming out from the car and I thought it was overheating um, and as I got a little closer I actually saw flames coming out from under the oh, wow. bottom of, of this car and um, I'm heading uh, eastbound on I-64 and the car pulls over into the um, the left hand shoulder where it's separated from the oncoming traffic by the center a center line was walls. Yeah, the center <laughs> line and, and the uh, oh my goodness. But yeah. you know, for, it's not you know. So the oncoming traffic is coming the other way, but it's all, it's all safe. And the person mm -hmm. pulls there, and I put the brakes on pretty quickly, and I pull in front uh, yeah. about a hundred feet in front of this this car, and um, I jump out of the car, and she's kind of just sitting there in the car, and she doesn't. I guess she she doesn't know what's going on. She yeah. thinks her car is overheated or whatnot. And I start waving and screaming and waving my arms, and she finally sees what's going on, and she uh, jumps out of the car. And I tell her to start running. I said, run to me, run to me. And she starts kind of running towards me, and the car goes boom. And, oh the, my and the hood goodness. of the car flies open, and there's this puff of you know fire and smoke. And yeah. it was kind of like a, a you know special effect in a movie. And uh, uh, she came over to me, and we sat in my car till the fire department came. And she was a, she was pretty much a, you know, nervous wreck for, oh, yeah. for a bit because she, you know, she'd almost uh, something almost awful happened. Yeah. And um, so we're, as we we're kind of you know we waited and we talked a little bit, and and then uh, her her family came and, and she went home. And so I'm kind of driving home after this experience and kind of processing my experience, and um, that's sort of where the song came from. Yeah. Yeah. What caught me was the chorus. It's a beautiful chorus. You know, the, the melody of it and uh, the way the words blend, uh, circumstance, happenstance, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. It's, it's just a very, very well, well written, well composed piece of music. And, uh, and it is on the Winter Garden album, it is. which is available at com, or your convenient uh, music, midi, uh, music outlet. Yeah, I'm and sure. if you have Apple Music or Spotify, yeah. you can get it there too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, like I said, I got it at uh, Amazon. So mm -hmm. I'm an Amazon guy, but there's Google, Google, and all those guys. So, mm -hmm. so that's great. Uh, so, are you planning a tour for your new album yet? What we'll probably do is uh, touring's a little tricky with schedules. Um, yeah. But what we'll probably do is take a, a number of excursions out of town. Yeah. Uh, we've played Chicago a few times, and we have some. Uh, some folks up there who are interested in what we're doing. 
Nice. And so I'm sure we'll return to Chicago. Mm-hmm. And um, probably on the way there and the way back, we'll pick up something in, sure. in uh, Indianapolis and maybe make our way over to Cincinnati. We'll try to um, play some dates around the region and um, try to play some dates here in town. Mm-hmm. That sounds great. Really, really looking forward to it. So let's see, three songs in, right? We are three songs in, yep. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure we got enough time for the other two. In case you're just uh, tuning in, this is In the Studio. I'm Gavin Castor here on 100.9 FM WCHQ. Make sure to download our app so you can listen to everything crystal clear sound, CD quality sound. And, of course, we're online at WCHQFM.com. And next week's guest is the Horde House Rockers, so you don't want to miss that right after a live from Letter Song. But right now we have Grackle live in the studio. Take it away, guys. This is called Dissonance.
Crackle, live in the studio here on 100.9 FM WCHQ. Beautiful stuff. It's, uh, and an odd meter. And an odd yeah, meter. Well, yeah. Well, change. Six, six, eight. Yeah. Six, eight. Six, eight. Six, eight. Yeah. The epic meter. The epic meter. Yeah. Yep. Epic meter. Everything, uh, everything epic is that. <laughs> <laughs> If it's three four, it's a waltz. But if it's six eight, it's something epic. Something epic. Yeah. yeah. So that's off the new album. It is. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be on the new album. Yeah. I the the strings, uh, violin and cello strings, as opposed to the keyboard strings, mm. they add a lot of fluid fluidity to it to the mix. And I got to say this, Joanne, I really enjoy seeing you dance. You really, <laughs> <laughs> really getting into the music. That's that's great <laughs> and uh, i might embarrass myself but do you have a background in music as well N- not really i mean you know I've, I've uh i've sung in choirs my whole life but yeah you know Singing. beyond that um not really that would yeah. constitute a background we, that would well, constitute a background we, absolutely we actually met in the choir when we were in college so yeah he uh he was in jazz band and not meeting girls so he joined the I met choir. that many girls in the jazz band yeah, yeah zero he joined girls. the choir met me and <laughs> Quit a month later. <laughs> <laughs> the so. universe uh, put you two together. Mission yeah. accomplished. Mission that's accomplished. It. That's it. That's right. Been together ever since. Well, that's Never a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. It's been fun. Even when he fires me. I've only been fired once. So only far. been fired so once. Far. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't go away. Thank God for that. <laughs> We have stopped paying her, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. oh, you get paid? I, was, I was like, well, yeah, I, I thought I was paid. paid twice as much as before. I've got way more zeros than ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what direction are we going uh, after this? You've got your Oaks gig. Do you have more gigs, or are you going to focus on uh, finishing your, your new album? We are, we're going to focus on getting the album wrapped up, yeah. and we are... Uh, we're planning. Uh, we're in the planning stages of a CD release. We wanna mm-hmm. we wanna put it out there, and make a splash, and yeah. uh, of course, uh, WCHQ is gonna have a, an early Absolutely. version, an early copy of that uh, that CD. Beautiful. It's just so exciting yes. to be able to, you know, to be able to share it. And and I don't yeah. believe like a CD is not really finished until it gets shared. Yeah. Um, and it's just you know we there's not a whole lot of people who have heard it. Like maybe mm-hmm. some a few of our family members maybe. Our um, listeners today are hearing. Well, songs. they're here. That's yeah. true. That's true. You're hearing the songs. It's right? beautiful stuff too. So right. we're we're really excited. Yeah. We're working on um, uh, kind of an unplugged crackle. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, I shared that video on on the in the studio page. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. So there's a cool story uh, about the unplugged crackle. Not so cool. Or well, it depends on your perspective. <laughs> it's from my perspective. Silver it's lighting, silver awesome. Lighting. Yeah. Oh, so uh, so Jeff is uh, is very. Uh, you know, he's a very active kind of fellow, and he's he's out, always out and about doing active things. And he was doing his active thing on his bicycle in the parklands, and mm. um, hit some uh, gravel and lost lost sort of his his uh, control of his bike and blew out his ACL and oh, and, and some goodness. other things with with three letter abbreviations that I'm not exactly sure. But all the yeah. CL things, all CL <laughs> things, yeah. It was it was not good. And, oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> We're talking about Jeff Gard, the drummer. Jeff Gard, the drummer. So, yeah. so Jeff had a pretty significant knee injury, and it was uh, we did have a, a pretty you know pretty cool gig coming up. And Jeff, you know, bless his heart, like the, he's lying on his back in the middle of the parklands, waiting for paramedics to get to him. And, oh, man. and, I, and I believe this because he's, he's he's this kind of guy. He's like, oh, that grackle gig. What are we gonna do? That's what he's thinking about. Bless his yeah. heart. So yeah, um, the first thing that came to mind is I don't think I'm gonna be able to play drums. No. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, no. Like, oh, yeah. And, yeah, and that was true. He he wasn't. So um, what we did is uh, we we made uh, lemonade out of lemons, mm-hmm. and Jeff couldn't navigate. We rehearsed him in the basement of my home, and Jeff just couldn't navigate the stairs for a period of time with his leg all immobilized. Right. But we have a small room upstairs that has a piano in it. Yeah. And we sort of decided hey you know well, let's just pl- play a little unplugged which surprisingly even with strings we've never actually done yeah and let's play unplugged so that jeff doesn't have to you know miss rehearsal or figure out you know so we don't have to carry him down the stairs or something like that and so uh, we set up a cajon uh for jeff and um, some hand drums and 
uh, sort of configured a way he could play without having to use one of his legs. Yeah. And I played just the, the upright piano, and Kay and Myra played unplug, and Steve played through a very small amp. And it was this unplugged version, which was super organic sounding, and we were all just like, dang. Wow. This is really this good. This is like, we really enjoyed it. So we occasionally will play uh, mm-hmm. gigs um, as sort of a, an unplugged, plugged in, sort of a more mm-hmm. acoustic version of what we do. And, um, and it's really nice to have sort of that, that uh, convertible nature. Yeah. yeah. I see an acoustic album in your future. There perhaps will be a yeah. uh, an acoustic album. Maybe we'll do it as a, an acoustic, live in the studio acoustic, something like that. That'd be cool. Yeah. 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 It would. Call it organic crackle or something. So, Jeff, yeah. we really appreciate the sacrifice that you made yeah. so that we could discover <laughs> <laughs> this other side of us. <laughs> oh, it's a universe. The that, there's the a purpose knee. for everything. Dark side of the knee. Dark side of the knee. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's not who said that. That's good. He said that. Uh, get, get a point on that one. Awesome. Well, on a sad note, we're reaching the close of our show. We want to fit your last um, song in, and this has been a great ride. Thank you so much for having us and inviting yeah. us into the studio. For, for folks who haven't seen the new uh, WCHQ Studios, uh, it is just beautiful, beautiful. It's very warm and inviting. Oh, it feels like, you know, there's no doubt you're in Louisville when you're in this studio. It's mm-hmm. got a very Louisville feel, and we're just really appreciative that you, uh, you, you're you part of an organization that exists to promote Louisville arts. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. and we, we did our research. Uh, Gary Sampson, our music director, researched all the uh, radio stations across the United States, uh, including community, and there's one community radio station in Colorado, that will play local music, but it's not exclusively local, and they don't have live shows. So it makes us feel kind of special here, and yeah. we are really uh, we're really proud of what we do. You know, a lot of it's a great city for music. It is really really talented musicians in this town. Yeah, I, I found that top twenty. I keep talk, referring to a top twenty five list music cities, and it was travel and leisure, and we were number nine behind Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, nice. So that's, that's and that was in that was in 2015. But um, you know, there are people in Nashville who want to play Louisville, and sure. and it's like, wow, there's so many, so much incredible talent here. It's difficult for like me to get a gig in here. So <laughs> there's is. people in Central Kentucky who want to play Louisville, and they say it. They actually can play Nashville before playing here. Mm. It's it's. Uh, a lot of talents, over 60 venues, and uh, it's a beautiful town, and and uh, really proud to be a part of it, and, and thank you guys for being here. It's, uh, like I said, it's been a great ride, and uh, really enjoyed having you. Uh, before we go, uh, next week's show is Horde House Rockers. You cannot say that name fast. No. It features uh, Louisville legend uh, Har- uh, Danny Harmonica Horde. Uh, John D'Amato, a lot of great, great players in the band, and uh, we're we're really looking forward to having having them here. And uh, if you want to find out all the uh, shows coming up for In the Studio and all the other shows, go on to wchqfm.com and click on the upcoming shows event, or not the upcoming shows, the upcoming show guests link. And uh, In the Studio is actually... I'm booking uh, July right now. So a lot of great, great. The response has been beautiful here. And uh, I've I've had to do very little to book. People have approached me. Uh, you can approach me, Gavin, at WCHQFM.com. That's my email address. Or in the studio, you can message me that way or my personal Facebook message. But And uh, we're going to have... Uh, Greco, pl- uh, Greco, sorry, Grackle, <laughs> play us out. Our engineer tonight is Owen Heritage, and yes, bravo, Owen, made us sound beautiful. And huge thanks to Kathy Weisbach and Gary Sampson and all the rest of the forty over forty volunteers and staff at WCHQ that keeps this train rolling. So for WCHQ and in the studio. I'm Gavin Castor. Peace to you all.
Okay. 